ready to see how our home is after having to evacuate for the hurricane. that a lot of the trees on the side of the highway were broken and down. The highway was cleared, of course, and the ponds and lakes were filled to the brim, a little overflowing, and the sign for our exit was blown down. But the damage is not as bad as we expected. The roads are clean, things are functioning pretty normal here, but the National Guard, first responders, the power companies, like they've been working here to clear debris, get the power back on, and we're just thankful the damage wasn't as bad as we expected it to be in Tampa Bay, so close to home, ready to see how our home is after having to evacuate for the hurricane. My tree! My tree survived! <laughs> <laughs> the tree in front of our house is here! Yay! That's a good sign. Hi, Lou. We're home. Oh, never have I ever been so happy to feel dry carpet. Everything no, is fine. No, no, I mean, you can look at it. Is that a crab? That's a crab. That's why I told you. A crab? crab here. A crab came inside and is it dead? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Okay, y'all. This is why we are a flood zone and why we were so concerned about our home. Why we put sandbags along the sliding glass door why we had to evacuate, why we became an evacuation zone, because the coastal areas of our county were deemed to flood terribly from the storm surge of the hurricane. And so I really just need to take a moment to be so incredibly thankful. Our home is okay. I, this is amazing. I, I am so I can't I can't even describe how grateful I am right now. This is amazing. And yes, our house is a mess. The furniture is everywhere. I can barely get through here in my walker, but that's fixable. We we've got people to come help us with that right now. I am just God is good. I am so thankful. Well, we're having to clear out the fridge because although it's on now, we were without power for 3 days, and that means pretty much everything in here went bad and I don't want to risk it. So, going to have to clear it out and do another grocery trip to restock. Well, I am exhausted, but we've cleared out the fridge. I haven't seen it that empty since we moved in, but I am sitting on the floor and it is dry. I am telling y'all, we did not expect to come back to a house that didn't flood at least a little bit because they told us, you need to leave your home. The storm surge is gonna affect you. You're on the coast, the water, it's, it's gonna damage your homes, it's not safe. And so we were prepared to come back to more devastation and I'm just so relieved and so grateful that things are okay. Now I did talk about this a little bit yesterday. It is a bittersweet feeling because I know so many people do not have this fortune. So many people lost their homes, have substantial damage, flooding, still without power and it's hard to understand why some people have these blessings and some don't but instead of you know driving myself insane trying to understand the unfair things in the world you know why do some people get chronic illnesses and some don't you know this is why i have faith and why i try to make the best out of whatever situation i find myself in and for the people who are worse off my family are we are doing everything we can to help you know i am praying Judd is out there with the National Guard right now, helping those who need it, giving his all. And if we can do more as a family, we will. So I don't know if guilt is the right word, but it's definitely a bittersweet feeling. And, you know, we've seen so many people, millions of people coming together to help each other. We are strong. We can get through this. And I am grateful for what I do have, grateful for my circumstances. And 
we all just keep moving forward from here. Right, Harlu? And now we're just waiting for that company to get here to help us put all our furniture back where it needs to be because it is quite a mess in this house. Harlow, did you find your ball? Did you find this? You want this? I'm a sleepy dog. Ta-da! Our house is back! Yay! Oh, makes me feel so much better. I can actually get around my house now. Life is all cozy over there in her bed. You want to join me though? Harlow, come here. Come join me. Harlow, hop. Yeah, good girl. Yep, that's your spot. <laughs> well, I am in bed. Ugh, not feeling all that great. I think moving all the furniture around stirred up dust. And y'all may know this, but we keep the house very clean due to my allergies and my immune system issues. But I think moving the furniture so much stirred up all this hidden dust. And when we put everything back, there was a lot of dust in the air and I'm allergic to dust. So it made me feel really, really bad. And I started having flushing and getting these red blotches on me. And it wasn't an angioedema attack, just issues with my mast cell activation disorder and just allergy issues in general. And my eyes were watering. And so I had to take a break and get some allergy meds on board and take some Zofran because it made me feel nauseous too. And finally, when my symptoms came down and got more under control, uh, we had to like dust the place and we're running the Roomba now and just. That is what happens when I don't keep up with the cleaning. I mean, I keep up with the cleaning. I think just moving everything so much really brought up all this dust that's kind of hidden like under the couch and places you can't normally vacuum and whatnot. But anyways, doing okay now. And it's really nice to be in my own bed, in my own home with everything back where we need it to be. Judd is doing well. I have heard from him. Some of y'all have asked. I honestly have no idea when he's coming back. For security reasons, I can't say where he is, what he's doing, or how long he'll be gone, but that last one, we don't know how long he'll be gone. We honestly don't. So that's kind of a, I don't know what the right word is for that. It's, it's really like, I want to know when he's coming back. We, we both want to know when he's coming back, but that's just something we don't know. Um, it's like the way of the army is what we say. But he's doing good things. You know, this is part of what he does and what he likes to do. He likes to serve his community. And so we're proud of him. I mean, it is hard to go through a hurricane without your husband here, your significant other, a person in your family there with you through the um, event. But this is part of who he is and what he likes to do and going and helping others. So I support him through it, of course. And we'll be very happy when he gets to come home. And even with Judd gone, I'm grateful for the support of my friends and my family and the support y'all have offered through all of this. Thank you so much. Honestly, those kind words and reading all the supportive comments, it's just, it makes all of this so much easier and bearable. And I can't always reply to comments just because I may not be feeling well or I'm really busy or I'm just not in the right mindset, but know that I do appreciate the support. It means a lot to us. So anyways, today was a busy day. I am not feeling all that great, but I am grateful to be home in my own bed. I think I'm gonna sleep really, really well tonight. And we got a busy weekend ahead of us just sorting out the house a bit more. I have some things to unpack, more cleaning to do. We gotta get groceries, but I'm happy to do all those things because I'm just humbled and grateful. So with that, I'm gonna say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure.